Hello, this is Edith Neumeyer, and I am also the author of the book, The Mystery of Adam. You can find it on Amazon under The Mystery of Adam by Edith Neumeyer, N-E-U-M-A-I-E-R. My book is about not a, you know, love story, but it's about biblical research on Genesis and how Genesis, the creation of humankind, is relating to everything that the where, where the Bible addresses women and men and their role in the church and marriage. It has to be built on, of course, Genesis and how God really created the human being and what happens during the fall. And so my book is um, uh, built on that and really my unique uh, um, study is that the first human being was not a man, but male and female, as the Bible says. So yeah, that's what my book is about. However, this video people is really a, an introduction to my channel. Just telling you what my channel is about. Sometimes I do talk about my book. I have actually uh, uh, videos on my channel that uh, tell you about my book. You're just gonna have to look it up actually under playlist and the mystery of Adam or my book, the mystery of Adam, something like that. You will find videos um, that uh, really address the things that I wrote in my book and introduce my book. But this really channel um, is mainly on end times prophecy. I've been studying end times prophecy for many years and people, I'm not studying it, uh, listening to other people or reading other people's books, but I studied it from the Bible. I have come to the conclusion many years ago that listening to these Bible teachers just leave me confused. And when I started reading the Bible for myself and really studying the Bible for myself, things became very, very clear. And they're not really rocket science. They become rocket science when we depend on somebody's interpretation. And that's something that I want to leave out. When I do studies, I do studies from the Bible. I read the Bible. If we, I don't understand if the Bible does not tell me, or if I don't understand it when I read something in the Bible, I will look for other places in the Bible that confirm or not confirm what my assumption is. Yeah, we can have assumptions or theories, but these assumptions have to be proven by the Bible, okay, their bio. Sometimes we need to, God always uses two or three witnesses, and we need to do the same thing. We need to look at three or two or three sources, separate sources, like John and Paul, or John and Daniel, or Isaiah, or Jeremiah, or whatever, to confirm what God is trying to tell us. Like I said, we have way too many false teachers. People that just follow false teachers. So it's like, oh, it's terrible, right? They, they, they're presenting themselves on the internet as knowledgeable, but they're not. They're building, again, their teachings on assumptions by other people. Never ever went to the Bible and really checked it out. Because if we really would go to the Bible and really check it out, okay, really check it out, we would come to the conclusion that what these false Bible teachers are telling you or false end times prophecy teachers are telling you is wrong. A lot of people do that. Oh, I just heard this at one time, you know, that this third temple has to be uh, uh, rebuilt before Jesus returns. And so, well, it must be in the Bible. And But never look 
at the Bible, what the Bible really says and what the Bible really means. Okay? And how do I know what the Bible means? Well, I have to, for instance, when Paul mentions a, uh, uh, Paul mentions a temple, I have to go to the source what Paul believes about the temple. Okay? So I have to get a definition from Paul what the temple is. The temple that Paul is thinking about. Okay? So we can't think, okay, a temple, well, a temple must be a stone built. No, that's not what Paul taught. So we always have to go to the Bible, get the definition, the word and the definition, and then build our things, our beliefs on that. And so many don't do that. Another example is Antichrist. Well, get the definition of Antichrist from the Bible. Not from somebody who assumes he is like an end times leader. No. And that's what many do. They're just assuming. And these people have many followers. They're very big in evangelical circles and they're misleading a lot of people. And these people build their assumptions on somebody else who also got really big. And so the deception is just spreading more and more. And it does not stop until we sit down and we read the Bible ourselves. I use historical accounts as well. You need to understand history in order to understand the Bible or end times prophecy. If you think end times prophecy starts somewhere in the end somewhere, you know, or, or revelation starts somewhere at the end, no. John said clearly, what soon will happen? And he meant soon after he wrote down Revelation. So the whole time we're already live, living in end times or in Revelation. And we think, oh, it's going to come at the end. No, it has already started. We need to understand history in order to put in order all the things that John was writing. And then we get a good understanding if we understand the prophets, what Daniel wrote. People were living close to Jesus' return. We had all the history. Our history is almost finished. Human history is coming to an end. We know what human history looked like. So it shouldn't be too hard to kind of see where everything fits. Nothing else is really coming. No, it, it, this enterprise is not coming. He is here. Okay, the man of sin that Paul was talking about, 2 Thessalonians 2, is here. Okay, he appeared 1700 years ago. And we ignore it. There's people that have told us who it is. And we're ignoring it. Because we'd rather follow false teachers. Oh, well, let's put it this way. We'd rather not study the Bible. So this is what my channel is about. I build everything on the Bible and no interpretation. I am totally against interpretation. I can say this is my assumption. That's okay. My assumption. But I cannot Treat it like that is the truth. My assumption, my interpretation is not the truth. It's not becoming the truth until I can prove it and clearly show it. Okay? Show it. Show it. Show what the writer believed. Like in the case of the, the third temple that many believe, the third temple. What is the third temple? Is it really a stone temple? Does God really want a stone temple? Is that what he wants? Or what does God really want? What is the definition that Paul gives us for the temple? Okay, The true temple of God. Or the definition of the true temple of God that John gives us. John sees the temple where? In heaven all the time. We can't assume then that Oh, one time it's in on this earth. No. When John sees the temple, it is in heaven all the time.
all the time. John is not on this earth anymore. So when he is told to measure the temple, that temple is in heaven. Just like at the end of the chapter eleven, the temple it says it clearly: the temple is in heaven. Okay, so we have to read everything, not what people tell us and assume. We've had some terrible, terrible deception going on in our churches since the time. You know,、uh, uh, Martin Luther tried to reform. Well, reform, ha ha, that's not a good thing either, because reforming does not change things. Okay, he wanted to reform the what the Catholic Church. No, that that maybe was wrong, but since Luther, many people try maybe go back to the original text, to the biblical text, what church is supposed to be like. Now Luther didn't do that, even though many people think, oh, Protestants, Protestants, you know, build it on the Reformation. But really, Reformation is that what we want? We want re- Reformation of the Catholic Church. Or do we have to go to the drawing board? Not really drawing board, but to the Bible. What does Paul teach? And that's it. That's it. And that's what I'm trying to do. And then I'm bringing in the signs that I see today. How they apply to Bible prophecy. I mean, really. Things that we see today. So I know this is the sign, and I'm going to have to find it someplace. Okay. My last video was about the days of Noah. Okay, the days of Noah. And so I am really relating what Jesus said. Hey, it's going to be like the days of Noah. What does that really mean? Do we living today in the days of Noah, because of what he said? So I'm always trying to relate the today's signs that I see today to end times. Well, also, people, there are sometimes topics that I cannot address here on YouTube. And so I have to put them on my Bitshoot channel. Just simply, I want to be respecting the guidelines of、um, YouTube. I really do. I understand there are some things that they don't want us to talk about, and so I have decided. I guess I have to go to other channels or other platforms to do that. And that's my. You know that I went to Bitshoot. I know some people say, "Oh, we don't like Bitshoot.、Uh, they don't come up and all these things." No, Bitshoot is okay. It, it's not as、uh, you know. Sometimes you have to wait for your videos to come up. It'll take a while, and you can see on the body mirror that it's just kind of still、uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. But it comes up, and at least on Bitshoot, I have freedom to speak about the things I want to speak. Okay. At least I have freedom. I don't have to worry about being afraid that I'm censored, and that is important because we don't want to just live with this fear all the time. That's not a good thing. And sometimes I don't even know what really、um, what I'm not supposed to be talking about. Sometimes I, I I just what did I do again? You know what did I do again? But anyway, so yeah, this is a good chance that. Many times I may put my videos on Bitshoot, and then I will make a small video and、um, let you know、um, that it's again. I'll put a link on the bottom most of the time. I will put a link on the bottom、uh, of my Bitshoot、um, channel, so you have that as well. Because it can happen if if you don't see me for a week. I usually do three videos a week. If you don't see a, a video. You know, for a whole week, you know, I'm banned again. And watch my videos as fast as possible because sometimes you can actually get them before they are taken down. Anyways, I'm coming to an end. This is a short video, and I, what I always say is, let the Holy Spirit guide you because 
The Holy Spirit is the most important person that we need to understand um, in times prophecy. Not so much, oh, what you're studying, you know, in seminary or from somebody's books or commentaries. Don't do that, people. Go to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, you guide me. That's what I say after every video. Let the Holy Spirit guide you, and I really mean it, because you will not be able to understand it. He will guide you and show you where these things are that you so you can understand them. And sometimes you just have to wait, because He will guide you. I'm coming to an end, people. Again, let the Holy Spirit guide you, and I really, really mean it.